Alright, say something. Again. Hi, how are you doing? I want to die, how are you? <laughs> and, see, it's red now. Now we are recording. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're yeah. playing Doki Doki Literature Club again. My name is Rocking Guy. Today, we have a special guest who you will not see, but you will hear more than likely, I hope, probably. Yeah, who's that? <laughs> if you've heard that, you are very unfortunate. But we have Faith with us today, the one who's setting up the Instagram and Discord stuffs and making everything very good for us. Happy fun times ahead. Yeah. I suck. <laughs> so. Oh, where's my hat? I need my hat before I start. Ah, here's my hat. Sick and stones may break my bones. Whips and chains excite me. Oh, yeah. Anyway, last time we played, we shared our poem with Natsuki and Monika, saving the two best, Sayori and Yuri, for last. And now, I was going to finish, try to finish today, but my sister was giving me noise complaints because it was like. 12.30, and I was still trying to record. She didn't like that. So, today we'll try finishing finish the day. You're not talking very much. Uh, it's because I figured this is part of the intro stuff, like you explaining stuff. Well, it is, but I, fi and, I figured... Yeah, so I'm kind of like in the background. Once gameplay actually starts, my, uh, trust me, I will kick in. I love this game. I know this game. <laughs> I, I, I just thought that you would be interrupting me because you you seem like you would do that just for the hell of it. Even though I point out when you interrupt, no. But, um, Faith has given me some tips here. Like, when writing yeah. poems, I didn't know that the stickers would jump when I picked the word matching each person. And she was saying that. Yeah, so like I said, Yuri is more the like the big words for Yuri. Sayori is kind of like suicidal in a way, but she's also small worded. Uh, Yuri likes the big complicated words. Wait, who's also, the suicidal one? I did. Huh? Who is the suicidal one? Um, I'm, we're not gonna say that again because that could be a spoiler. Anyways, that... I don't want to spoil. Why? Why would you say it? And then not say it again. Say where is it suicide? She does not act oh, I guess that just goes well, through what yeah, I've been telling yeah. you guys. Also <sighs> I did point out that Sayori, Natsuki, and Yuri all end with an I and Monica does not, so that shows Monica is different from Yuri. Yeah, but I watch too many gameplays of this. Yeah. And I also <laughs> this is something Faith has did not help me with, I figured out on my own, because I was just sitting in the shower, thinking, scrub my ball sack, and then I thought... <laughs> 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 and then, I was thinking about Monica's palm, palm, poem, <laughs> and I was like, wait, save me, load me, that seems like a gameplay thing. I'm missing something with those two things. The title saved me, the end is load me. I... That, that's... yeah. That's really something, right? Yeah. And, and later on, there's gonna be more and more, and I cannot wait until you get to the fucked up part. I'm not gonna say what they are, but yeah. I cannot wait until you react. But... Like, oh my god. But I just thought that was something. I couldn't figure out what it was. I don't know if I was supposed to save the game while reading the poem and load it while reading the poem. I don't even know if I can do that. But I probably just also, messed. Also, um, really quick, I'm gonna interrupt because yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Monica is more than likely Yeah, Matthew is telling me about that. that. 
Matt Matthew was telling me about that. Should I? So I shouldn't check it yet, but I should just get the files open. Um. Yeah. Just let them open another tab. But I forget um, what the last thing that I said was. Huh. Yeah. We're just gonna. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll I'll get through with that. Anyway. But. Yeah. So last time. I noticed the whole save me, load me thing, and I've been kicking my own ass about that ever since, and now, um, after I finish this game, I'm going to try to be, I don't usually save a whole lot, which is a habit I need to get uh, I into, do. I need to get into the habit of saving, because I've been watching a lot of Jack, and there's been times that the games have just crashed on him, and I haven't really had that problem. So I'm thinking that's a problem that's going to occur while editing, more than likely. Right. So, I'm going to have to force myself into that. Ugh, Stop dying. Anyways, let's go. But... What if I want to die? Anyways, yeah. You're not allowed to. I forbid you. But anyway... So, after I finish through this game, I'm going to restart it and show you guys all the changes, all the different decisions I'm going to make, and everything like that. But let's hop right in. Who should I show my poem to next? Second best, Sayori. So hard to... Oh, wait, did, sorry, did you read my comments about Sayori? I might have, but I... But, it's just like, like, the interaction between the character and Sayori reminds me of some DDLG shit, and I'm like, oh! <laughs> but, but anyways, yeah, if like, Sayori is suicidal, and this really proves my point, and I should listen to my own stuff that I'm saying, pay more attention to the ones who are extremely happy like Sayori. Should use her as an example, then I would've probably be like, oh wait, she is really happy, maybe I should. Maybe I wouldn't have needed Faith to tell me and spoil things for me. Come on, Faith. Sorry. Now he sounds sad. Now I feel bad. <laughs> no, 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 I just don't want to ruin anything for you. Like, one of my main fears is, like, ruining or, like, messing up. Like, failure almost. Like, so, like, that's why I don't want to ruin anything. Oh! I like this one, Rockers. It, it has some nice feelings in it. Ah, I'm glad. Still, though, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. <laughs> I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for me, I'm good. Well, I've known you my entire life. <sighs> you know, that's funny, because if Sayori is suicidal, my character's known her in her entire life. You'd think he would know these things. They live... Uh -huh. Some people hide it extremely well. You know how bouncy Sayori is in this game? But... Uh, but... If I was that bouncy, no one would think I'm Depresso. Espresso, boy! But the thing is... <sighs> she lives next door to him. him. He has yeah. to have went over her house several times and seen what her life is like. And every time she's tried pulling over on us, we've always caught her. Like with the cookie yeah, incident. But you see, like when you think you know someone so well, sometimes that turns around on you. And you're like, oh fuck. Like it seems like Sayori has a pretty good life, which she does. But sometimes I don't know their backstories yet. I legit get depressed over nothing. Yeah. So like, I'll be sad for no reason. Jordan would be like, why are you sad? I'm like, I don't know, babe. Sorry, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> but, anyway. Well, don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. That is honestly how I am in real life. I don't know well, if... William, you suck. There you go. <laughs> oh, I was about to just ask if you were being honest when you said my videos were good. No, I guess I know. Everyone in the comments is lying. Guy Brown, why would you lie to me like this? I thought I was good. You no, you are doing a good job. Oh, yay. I feel better now. I was just joking. No. I still like this one, I promise. You know I won't lie to you, Rockers. Well, apparently you're lying to us now. 
Yeah, I guess so. I'm being told that that there's a lie. Right? But just, just act like I never said anything, because it's going to be on your mind until something happens. <laughs> yes, it is. What made yesterday's poem so great compared to this one, then? Um, well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. Neither am I. Except for Natsuki's. I really didn't like Natsuki's. But, did you see the meaning behind Natsuki's? Like, really quick, did you see the meaning behind it? Well, she explained them. Okay, but, like, she was... I remember part of it. Eagles can fly, frogs can leave, yada yada, but people can only try. She's saying that, like, people are failures. And that all they can do is try to achieve. Yeah, she 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 explained that. Can actually do shit. Yeah, she explained that. And oh, okay. for oh, that's really explaining, so. for us being such failures, a lot of stuff we try is coming out pretty good. Like we try to make computers. Hey, we got computers. We can fly. We just need a plane. Yeah, just keep up. We're top of the food chain. But that's why. What? what? For now. Yeah, until we finish exploring the ocean and some giant ass beast just engulfs the planet or something. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. I honestly don't know how it works. Like, I, I'm not very good with poems. My glasses are starting to hurt, so. You guys get treat. Guess you need muscle shirt. And guess you without glasses. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. I guess. Yeah, maybe. Are you okay? Huh? Me? Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of noise. Oh, and that was me putting another earbud in because I'm half deaf in one ear. So, like, that messed around with the mic a bit, so... Okay. Honestly, I don't know... <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. You know, you should probably read some of these voices, just so you're participating more. Well, you see, the screen on my phone sucks. Um, no, it's, like, blurry. My camera readjusted itself. Any better? Whatsoever. I can guess, but that's gonna be fun. Yeah. Um, I guess I could stop the recording for a second and try a quick little. Oh, wait, you said it's the your phone, not my phone. Okay. Because I was gonna try to, like, get on Facebook on my no, computer. It's my phone being a bitch. I was gonna try to get on Facebook on my computer, get on Messenger, and then see if I could link my game recording to um, your screen as well, but it's not going to work like that. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Nicole managed to do it when she was doing some artwork. I mean, you can try, but that's going to take extra time. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of time. I'm trying to get two videos in one here, because the main boy, Conrad, is going to be editing the next video. Are you going to be here for both videos, or just yeah. this one? I don't know. So you recording two tonight? Yeah. As you can see, peoples of the internet, we didn't properly plan things. This was a last minute thing. No, this was last minute completely. Like, we planned this in the last five hours. Tops. Yeah. Um, I would show you the little setup I MacGyvered, but that would lead to you guys seeing the mess on my desk and the mess of my room, which y'all don't need. And luckily, not the mess of my face, because I had my camera off. But. Oh, I am luck. You're having a lot of fun. <laughs> this is going to be an so interesting it. video. I hope you guys like it. Also, oh wait, I use my Sayori voice, voice for me. Again. Whoosh. Whoosh. Shut up. Honestly, I have no what. Whoosh. Honestly, I have no what kind of writing you like in the first place. Neither does she. Like, she read our first poem. Like, are you sure you're not saying that because it's made of us? Well, it's a Rutgers poem.
cool. And I don't really know what I like anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, she agreed with you. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Oh, you're just a big old airhead. So. You just sounded like Shaggy. You must have some power. Don't you know? Shaggy gave me 2% of his power. He's loaning it to me to be able to make these videos. Oh, that's not a thing. Why did I even bring up the Shaggy meme? Well, Why you, did I do this to myself? You remind me of a thing I need to tell my peoples. So, I was supposed to show you guys the finished meme, the one that I showed y'all last time, where I was going to draw Scooby crying at Shaggy's disappearing feet. But, um, I finished it yesterday, I think, and I forgot I was supposed to show it off, and I gave it to my crush already. So, also, oh wait, I used my Sayori voice, voice for me. Again. Whoosh. Whoosh. Shut up. Honestly, I have no what- Whoosh. Whoosh. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Neither does she. Like, she read our first poem. Like, are you sure you're not saying that because it's made of us? Well, it's a rocker's poem, and I don't really know what I like anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, she agreed with you. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Oh, you're just a big old airhead. So. You just sounded like Shaggy. You must have some power. Don't you know? Shaggy gave me 2% of his power. He's loaning it to me to be able to make these videos. Oh, that's not a thing. Why did I even bring up the Shaggy meme? Well, Why you, did I do this to myself? You remind me of a thing I need to tell my peoples. So, I was supposed to show you guys the finished meme, the one that I showed y'all last time, where I was going to draw Scooby crying at Shaggy's disappearing feet, but um, I finished it yesterday, I think, and I forgot I was supposed to show it off, and I gave it to my crush already, so. Okay, William, really quick before you do anything, look at the camera real quick. Not the camera, like the phone. Yeah, uh, I'm looking. This angle looks wonderful, doesn't it? Yes. And then there's this. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... And there's, I'm a grandma on Facebook holding a phone. <laughs> but, anyway. I've started my next one. I will show this to you guys before giving it away. I'm sorry I did that with the last one. But... He's guys, not sorry. He, he actually hates his viewers, so... Hey, don't we spread lies. It's too early for that. Why? Lies are fun. No, they're not. But they're horrible. I'm joking. I've already started my next one. You didn't really miss much with the last one, because what y'all saw was most of it anyway. All I put in the next one was like Scooby with his face up, howling out, Ready! And then Shaggy's feet just disappearing. It looked pretty much the same as the rest of it, but I don't know how well you can see that, but Shaggy's beginning to reappear. Well, oh, wait. Look at the phone again, <laughs> I see an eyeball and a nostril. You're welcome. <laughs> but I showed you that even though. Okay, keep going with the video. I was, and then you interrupted again. I'm leaving most of this in. Yeah. See, she's already swearing more than I am. I haven't gotten to the point where oh, I'm going yeah. to Oh yeah, I, I am a swear. I am a swear. See, I'll hear me swear. But not like that yet. Because I'm still a shy boy bursting out of my shell. Fuck, fuck, pussy cunt. Yeah, hey, uh, happy five times. PMA and all that good stuff. Jacksepticeye. But. Wanting to kill myself anyway. <laughs> no. guy. I should have showed you guys that because I told y'all I wouldn't show you the next part until it was done. But since I went ahead and 
gave away the first one. I'm going to be giving away that one after I show it to you guys when it's finished. Yeah. Whoops. Let me um, turn my camera off again because. Your phone's still dying. Bored, looking at myself. <laughs> but anyway, with that just said. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want me to write? So Wait, you want me to write something for me? That's what I was saying, but that's not what needs to be said. I should probably have my glasses on, but I don't care. Oh, you want to write hey, something? Your glasses. For me? You look weird without them. Yeah, you look really weird without them. Well. The headphones are pressing into them and it hurt. Can you see that? Or should I twist up a little bit? Just a little bit. Mwah. Okay, just keep, keep going with the game. But here's my glasses. Oh, well, yeah, I know that. The headphones are pressing in and it's starting to hurt. So. Oh, you want to write okay, something? That's fine. I'm going. I'm going. Golly. That's so sweet. <coughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not being sweet for you. I'm being sweet for Yuri. Well, I guess I should probably treat um, Sayori a little bit nicer. <laughs> just, just forget I said anything. You should have said it in the first place. Well, I didn't think, okay? I'm sorry. It's okay. You're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. <laughs> I mean, you really do need to think about yourself. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh. We already know she's going to end up getting hurt because someone spoiled it. Well... <laughs> they probably didn't even hear that moan. It wasn't a moan, it was a whimper, okay? <laughs> I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like heavy poems. So simple. It's a simple thing that gets her happy, but uh... for how long? Hey, you're the one who told me to forget about it, and I was trying not to mention it. Sorry. Yeah, you better be, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Just a quiet yeah. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. My voice for her just completely failed. Oh god, what was that? I made her sound like a whore. Anyways. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet! I'm sure. Yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad. Oh wait, I used her. I didn't notice the change of names. I'm putting my glasses back on. Uh huh. I'll deal with the pain. Right this uh, I'll deal. I'll deal with them making me uncomfortable just for you guys. Can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. How oh, little does he know? It was spoiled for me, but Little Rockers gets the full hit of it. Oh, why I turn up? I hate myself. <laughs> I like happy looks, <laughs> but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can. Help give the rain cloud a little hug. That's actually pretty adorable. And make a happy rainbow! Yeah, that, that is cute. I love that part. See, this... Wait, these... A little sad poem can give the little rain cloud a happy little hug. These are things that bring Sayori up higher on our closet level. But she... she... Sayori's my favorite, honestly. Hmm? Sayori's my favorite and Yuri's my second favorite. See, if I'd played the game before and actually held off before getting attached to Yuri, it might have went that way. But Yuri, see, yeah. see the top of the closet right here. See where my mouse is. I'm treating, I'm treating you like them at this point. So you're, you're going to take place of them. You're going to be answering my questions for them. See top of the closet right here. You're representing yeah. all of the people who watch me. All right. Well, you see, uh, Sayori, you see, like, the, uh, ceiling? 
Yeah, that's where Sayori is for me. Okay, so you're scaling the whole thing for you. But for me, here's the scale. No, no the, I'm using your scale, but I just love Sayori so much that she breaks your scale. Trip talk! I stopped picking on you, god damn it. But, so right here was the 100% mark. This is where Yuri started. And Sayori was about halfway from the start. Natsuki started down here, and so did Monika. Well, Yuri. Monika. I'm going, Monica. I'm going to say it, Monika. Would you rather me do it like Kaylin was? Monika. Stop. It's Monika now, guys. That sounds guys. like a racial slur if I've ever heard one. Monika. But. Think, think about it. Think about it. I'm not going to because my mind is innocent and pure. But. Mine is not. <laughs> I just had a spider crawl on me. I'm surprised I did not scream. You're welcome. <laughs> It'd been funny putting the video. But anyway. So now, Yuri started out at the 100%. Now, Yuri is up yeah, at. That, big tip. that honestly wasn't the reason. Okay, and she's shy and cute and stuff. Yes, the shy and cute. I like shy and cute stuff. I like the innocent and adorable stuff. And I like it when, you know, when Natsuki had that moment where she's like, I'm not cute. Yuri's been working her way up. She's right here. Like, she's way up here now. All above the closet. And Yuri has been at this shelf I think it's like the 90% to be honest and when she does stuff like this she moves slowly up so now she's like at 93 make a nice happy rainbow. that's what I was doing I don't even know if you can hear her over me but every time I go to read she's like get back to the game well it's cause my side lags on every messenger call I lag some so whenever I say something, it's probably delayed by one to three seconds. So it really sucks. See, that's the way it was when uh, I was calling Nicole every night. She'd say something like, like, ten seconds or so later, lag. Make nice happy rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly, unexpectedly. I know these words. I just can't talk. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh, is it? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Rockers. It didn't even do anything. I should go write that down then. Uh -uh. You can read my poem now, okay? <laughs> Bottles? The way the T is real close to the O, it looks like battles. There's nothing at the end of this like for when you get there now. Okay. Oh wow, this is a long one. Bottles. I pop off my scalp. Oh god, that kind of took a turn in my head. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm just letting you read it and I'm trying not to interrupt. <laughs> well, when I talk about how my brain just took a wrong turn for I pop off my scalp. That would be a good place for you to say something, if you have anything. Well, I mean, it's just like you're opening up your mind. It's just... Okay, I didn't think of it that way. I'm th literally thinking of someone's, the top of their head just popping off and gore going everywhere. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together in a little bundle, no, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. That's an interesting way to think of it. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on a shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts in a bottle. All in a row. Okay, so happy thoughts. That sounds like someone... For me, I think that would be... Nemo. What? Nemo. No, that's not really. When what I was um Dory and um what's his face clownfish were like I don't remember what part it was, but it was a bad part, I guess. The clownfish guy is like happy dots, happy dots, happy dots, or something like that. I I was thinking more like that's something someone who is depressed is trying to think of to distract themselves. 
happy thoughts, yeah. happy thoughts. Don't think about yeah. your problems. So. Yeah. That's like me, honestly. Because you know how I joke around a lot? Yeah. That's honestly trying me trying to push myself away from my depression. So. That's also yeah, you know. why I'm checking on you so much and why I'm always worried about you. I'm always going to worry about all of my friends because that's just what I do and my worry is going up for you because I know how you are and I want the best for you. I will be fine. Anyways, back to the But, video. so, even if Faith hadn't told me about the suicide thing, I probably would have gotten it here. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make me to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain night after night more dreams, friend after friend more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Whew. Oh, I know what you were thinking, stupid. Oh. She knows what I'm thinking. You guys know what I'm thinking. I took it a different way, not in a bad way. I don't believe that. I took it like, no, I'm serious. I took it like, um, I don't even the harder the struggle gets, the more you're digging for, like, meaning and happiness. Every time I say something purely innocent, you take it a wrong way, so I find it very hard to believe that you took that that way. Didn't even well, not. Well, like I seriously did. When it comes to poems and shit, you I take everything the correct way. You did it not once. Go there. Wow, I am impressed with you, Faith. Like exploring. Wow. Like I wish my mom was, anyway. <laughs> like exploring a dark cave. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hidden in the rocks and crannies. Nooks and crannies. So, my glasses aren't helping any, folks. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging. Scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally all done. I open up and in comes my friends. They come in, in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. Every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They are supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling, but all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. So yeah, this is a dark one. And... My frames are really low in these poems, so you guys are going to see my face lagging a lot. So, I definitely would have figured it out from that poem if Faith hadn't told me so rudely earlier. I told you I'd stop picking you. I'm going to stop picking on you. I don't know if you heard me. Alright, so I haven't been responding my phone. Um, its data is being stupid right now, so most everything you said sounded like a robot. Okay, good. That means you missed me picking on you. Uh, hey, you missed it, so don't get upset, because I caught myself. I'm like, oh wait, I said I wouldn't pick on you, so I'm not going to until after the video. <laughs> Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? It's definitely... Uh, actually, I kind of like the way you wrote last time more. It was, it was very cute. It was something I expected from Natsuki, since Monica said she wrote cutesy stuff. But Natsuki really disappointed me. I didn't like Natsuki's poems. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. What? <laughs> Monika taught me a whole lot. 
Ah, oh, man, I forgot to do the Sayori voice. Whoops. I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. Oh, wait, since monika has been teaching her this and she's been helping her get in touch with her feelings, I blame Monika for your suicidalness now, Sayori. <laughs> Was I correct? I'm not. I, I can't spoil it anymore. Oh god. It was Monika. Our president I I told you. Our Everyone president is corrupting us. Monica does not. Monica is different. Monica Monika wants me Monika wants me for herself, so she's getting rid of the competition. That's what's going on here, folks. And she was already below the floor because I just didn't like her. Now since she's trying to get rid of cute little say over here, and then probably Yuri later. She's below the visible part of the screen. She's down below my monitor. She's down below me. <laughs> she got it. Did y'all guys catch it? I hope you did. Enjoy. So, oh, wait. No, no, I didn't, even, I didn't even hear the dirty joke. It's just how spot on you got the maturity you were able to get to the point of being cry. Oh, well, damn. I'm being more correct than I want to be. No, like, yeah, your theory was legit. But I said that Monica is below me. Oh. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. So. Now, I just want to know the things that she's saying to someone as innocent as Sayori to make her suicidal. And as we know, Sayori also is... I also can't hear you right now because my phone's being a bitch. Yeah. But we all know that Sayori is really into us. She, she knows how to use her, her traits against us. She had us budding, buttoning up her blazer. You know he grazed boobs. You know she enjoyed it. And... We know she knows the tricks. So, I'm wondering what kind of things Monika could be telling poor innocent little Sayori to twist her mind that way. Because, I just don't know. She's such an innocent one. Why would you do that, though? I mean, I get Monika wants us, but that's not the way to go. That's gonna make me not like her even more, as y'all see. She's down below me now. Oh, where's my hat? I took my hat off when I went to go check on the thump. It sounds like coffee cup. That is empty. And that makes me sad. Also, a tip, you might want to start, like, getting more stuff done, like, done. In video? During your videos. Yeah, that's what happened in this video. Yeah, but you should, like, edit all of it out and act like you got a lot done. Especially but that would feel like I'm cheating them. Because I'm stupid. That that feel like I'm cheating the people out of their content though, acting like I got a lot done when I really didn't. It's just several recordings in one. But I'll get more done in other games, but for a game like this where it's just a bunch of reading and needs a little bit of talking to make it more entertaining, I'll I'll leave it like this. But if it's a game like some nauseous, then yes, Jack Sepp's got a reference there. But if it's a game like that. I will edit out boring parts like farming for materials. Yes, I do plan on playing Subnautica on my channel still. Yes, I've played it before. Ain't gonna stop me. I haven't really done much in there. I've seen playthroughs of it, but the playthroughs didn't really affect me like playing it myself did. Playing it myself, when I saw the reef backs, oh, I was so scared. Even though I knew they were harmless, it sends chills down my back. And I have not went into the deep down, dark deep down yet. So, you guys will get to see that. Are you still awake, Faith? Huh? You still awake? 
barely. Oh boy. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. Oh, she got a little blush. I think she already had that blush, but I'm just now noticing it. No, it, it, she just got it. Okay. I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. See, you didn't need to understand these feelings, because now all they're going to do is destroy you. And if I get the chance, I'm going to destroy Monika. But everyone's saying this game's going to mess my head, so I doubt I get the chance to destroy Monika. I've, oh, shit. I've got this leather strap here that I can easily just choke her with. Choke her with. <laughs> Monika? Monika can go fuck herself. <laughs> I can't wait till all this stuff happens. Fuck you. Uh, lightning is like magic! Fire magic for Natsuki, because she is the female version of Natsu. Is, are, don't I have fire magic? Yeah, you, you've got near fire magic from Skillet, but you don't have. Fire Dragon Slayer magic. You're just fire. Normal fire magic. But I guess... Dragons are amazing. But you still have the fire... The, you're like a firebender. We'll just call you... because I'm always cold. What the fuck? Well, I'm cold a lot. I'm a broken I'm cold a lot of times too, but I still radiate a whole lot of heat. Like, it's from your grinchiness, yeah. Rose has sat next to me, and it, it was during the pep rally, and she had to move away because I was radiating, a, I was radiating so much heat just by sitting there. And I thought I had all my heat contained because I was wearing my hoodie. Nah. Uh -huh. But I'm a ginger, so I'm going to radiate a bunch of heat. When you feel heat radiating, radiating from me, that means... I'm stealing your soul. Can you feel it, people on the internet? I'll send it through the camera. I'll get like 64 souls, because I think my highest viewed video only has 64 views. Anyway, we keep being distracted. Back to this. You found pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best! I hope my fanfiction turns out well. I'm going to keep writing until I die! Oh! God, no. That is not why you need to hear after reading that poem, and after what I have been told. Oh no, little Sayori. Please, no. Did you get all that? I'm going to keep writing until I die. Oh god. No, little Sayori. No, it's just because Sayori's a little simple. Like, she's just gonna say those type of things. Yeah, but... she is very simple-minded. But, I'm... Uh, not, you're, you're fine, trust me, you're fine. Ahaha, uh, ha. don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a habit of being obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I feel that. But, YouTube, I am not going to be dropping because YouTube is my dream. I know it's a weird thing to have as a dream. It's something easy to do, something simple. Just get a webcam. No, it's my dream. I'm Jacksept guy inspired. He's the reason I want to do YouTube. That's okay. I'm PewDiePie inspired. Oh. No, I'm joking. Jack's the best. Yeah, he is. Yes. Tough morning, lads. Uh, okay, back, back, back to the game. <laughs> I wonder if this is one of those times, but seeing the passion in your eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Who should I show my poem to next? Yuri! Hi, Yuri. Let's see what you've written for today. Oh, that's Yuri for the Yuri for Let's see what you've written for today. Uh, yeah. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Rockies. How did you pick up on this so quickly? Ha <laughs> I embraced Yuri! Yay! 
just yesterday I was telling you kind of techniques are worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining. Yeah, you're amazing. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Eerie visibly swallows. Oh, look at her. She's so cute playing with her hair, looking away. Oh, I wish I had long hair. I do that shit all the time. Even her hands oh. appear sweaty. I'm not used yeah. to this. Used to what? I don't know. She's so cute. Look at her face. It's fine. Take your time. Yeah, she's not used to people like looking at her. She's not used to reading books with someone. I really enjoyed that. I was so happy. I want another moment like that. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I can't hear you. Try it now. It's kind of glitching. What? It's because my phone's being a bitch. Oh, okay. So, I can hear you now. So, what were you saying before that? Uh, she's not used to, like, people listening to her and... So I can't wait till you read with her again, because we're in for a treat. <clears throat> Ooh. Wait. I don't know if that's a good treat or a bad treat. Oh, no. I'm excited and scared. Uh, it's a good one. It's a good yes! One. Yes! Okay. Yes! Yes! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. If You're... anything, Yuri's in for a treat, too. Ooh. I guess we know where the uh, fingers you went. I guess we know where the fingers from them. Uh, Sayori's poem goes. <laughs> Yuri breathes and collect, collects her thoughts. Yes, I'm keeping that part in. I'm going to start making some more dirty jokes. Which, I hope I will still be able to make once I monetize my channel. Anderson's wanting me to monetize it as soon as possible. But, I'm not sure. I've been, I'm, I've been thinking. Yeah, I would. I'd wait yeah. until you get, like, a decent fan base. And a Decent amount of views, so ad revenue. I don't like referring to it as fans. Well, once I have a decent amount of friends, we'll, we'll put it that way, until we can find a good name for my a rock. A decent amount of fam. No, fam. fam. Until, until we find a good name for my rock army down in the comments. Okay, rock hard, anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, anyone who would like to suggest an intro for me, Faith's already suggested one, which I might go with, but Faith's my friend, so. I like mine. But Faith's my friend. Yeah, they should like mine too. But Faith's my friend, so. If I go with hers, it'd be kind of biased. Yeah, but, I've and been giving, but, but I've been giving you all your tips and stuff, and I've been helping. I know, but. No, I, I want all the people that I don't know to be interactive and have a part of what I'm doing so no I know, I'm joking around. so no one can say that oh I don't really care about the people your I don't favorite, know yeah, your, your favorite this check out yeah and I'm, I'm not I care about everyone's opinion so if I find one they like better than yours I'm going to go with it hey everyone I'm back um, no more faith she was getting tired and I had to go sleep so, yeah, it's going to be a lot quieter now, which, honestly, I'm kind of dreading. I mean, I'll be able to focus more, but my video was, was a lot more lively with her in there. So, now you just got to suffer with my silence and awkward nervousness once more. But yeah, I had to go do some stuff out there while I was gone. She ended the call because she just couldn't stay up any longer. Which, that's okay because I'm not going to make her stay up if she doesn't want to or need to. If she's tired, I'd rather her get her sleep anyway. I care about my friends and their well being. But Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. Yeah. Just being appreciated like this, I guess. 
She's so cute. I love Yuri. The cry sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by my writing just makes me really happy. She's so adorable. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Aww. Now I feel really special and the first one she showed too. Well, I mean, I guess it was one of the. Of, no, 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 I was the first one she showed. Yay! I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. No, they boy, you wrote an amazing poem, Yuri. That one. Your, your poems have been my favorite so far. Oh, I haven't read the second one yet. I can't even say that. Your poem has been my, my favorite so far. It was amazing. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Huh. Even your close friends? Huh. Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Well, she's not a very social person. The only friends she has is probably everyone in this club room. But as we've been figuring out, Monika's not a really good friend. Because she's working on making them all depressed and getting them to disappear. So, we're going to have to fight Monika. I'm just so frustrated. Like, I knew I didn't like Monika. I didn't know why. But she was down here from the beginning. And then she dropped here. I never really had an interest in Monika. I knew there was something about her I didn't like. I just didn't know it would come to this. And from what Faith said, she's. And from what I saw with the Sayori's palm, she's already reached Sayori. Now Sayori is beginning to have weird thoughts. I hope I can do something to save them. But the way people have been talking, I haven't really given me spoilers except for Faith. But the way people have been talking, they've said it's going to mess with my head. So I don't think there's anything I can do. But something I can do is give it a hell of a try. Anyway, did you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah. I do. I don't know if you can hear my Yuri voice, because I'm using my webcam mic instead of this mic. You know what, I'm going to change that. Burp. Okay, this should be better now. Meaning that you'll be able to fully hear everything I was saying once again. And I know for sure you'll hear my Yuri voice. You'll definitely be hearing all of my lip smacks that I am so known for in my videos that I don't mean to be doing but I can't help it I'm trying to control it I'm trying I don't know if you guys know that but I'm trying but Kaylin has really been up my ass about it so yeah um let's go back to oh can I turn oh sweet huh, I saved my game thinking that they might have to exit out, but I didn't. But, Kaylin, if you're watching this, I am really trying to control the lip smacking. Before I start getting like a glass of water, this isn't a glass of water, it's fucking powder, but I'll just probably start having like a glass or a bottle of water or something, because my lips are really dry. They're moist, but it'll only be for like five seconds. Yeah, they dry again. So oh, I just lip smack. Sorry, but yeah, that's how that's how it's going. If it's with you, the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread. For a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware 
that raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge to she kill the raccoon. The moon increments its phase and, and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the nearly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken a following to me taken to following me. You can say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic uh Plovier? I can't read that word. I don't know if that's a V going into the L or the A going into the L. It looks like a V, but I don't know. Pavlovian. I don't know. I can't read that. Conditioning. I slice the bread and feed myself again. I know she's going to kill the raccoon. Oh man, Yuri. Monika's getting to you too. I was a little more digging with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metamorphical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. Monique has gotten through to her. And it's not good, like, cute and everything, but it's not good. Monique has got to be stopped. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I want you to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Uh huh? Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed before a strange interest? Eh? It's all Monika's fault. Wait, what has happened? accidentally click down on the scrolly wheel and this one way thankfully didn't ruin anything she she did yeah she's talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody she she's right huh, I mean does she really feel that way yeah sounds like you two have a lot of common I know Monika is involved in this somehow. Or maybe she's not, I'm just overreacting. Maybe she's only gotten to Sayori, and tomorrow she'll get to maybe Yuri or Natsuki, or something like that. I'm really paranoid now. Thanks, Faith. That's, well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Eh, a little bit, but you're cute, so it's okay. Ah, please don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I'd probably hate myself. Ah. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. Oh, hey everyone. I didn't record an outro 
while recording with Faith yesterday for the end of the episode where she left because I forgot because I'm a dumb so here I am all tired because I've been working today and dealing with stuff so I'll have to record tonight because the video that's going up tomorrow Conrad's going to get tonight and he's going to edit it then send back to me tomorrow to upload so we got that going for us but shut up phone but um I decided to end the first episode of the two that I recorded yesterday today complicated stuff after Faith left but when Monica came in and was getting ready to um, do something about the festival stuff preparing and yeah it's all just been good but if you enjoyed having Faith's voice and words of not so wisdom in the video then hey slap that like button on the last and until next time peace